All right, we are back in Belle's world where she has gotten herself a boyfriend, but that does not mean that life on the farm gets to stop. Good morning, rascal. We have chores to do and things to, to deal with, but you know what? It's going to be a very good day. Now, last time after I stopped, I or after I stopped recording, I went ahead and I drained a couple of little things. So we do have a trip to make into town to check in at the museum and see if we got any new things to donate. That would always be a good thing. But other than that, it's going to be kind of just a boring week, so I will probably speed run through all of the usual stuff, only pulling you guys out if something really exciting happens. So with all of that, I am going to finish doing chores after I check and see. Nope, no fruit yet. So I'm going to finish doing chores, and I will see you when we go to town. All right, we have our chores all done. We've made some grilled fish for our friend, and I think Rascal just went back into the house. Silly Rascal, it's time for a walk. Come on, Rascal. Rascal's like, but I was gonna nap. Silly kitty. All right, we, we definitely have to visit our boyfriend, Ralph, but we need to say hello to everybody else as well. Yeah. Hey, Damon. Hey, how's the farm coming along? If you ever have trouble with your animals, you can ask us about it. Whatever. I mean, you know, that's fine. Would you like a, a present? Huh. Ah, uh, thanks. I mean, I know it's not really your thing, but that's okay. And I've heard that Jack really likes the doodads that we find, so let's give Jack a present. Nothing as good as what we give hey. our boyfriend, but still. Hey, are you free to drop by sometime? My mom baked a cake this morning, and she was like, Belle's gotta try this. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, thanks, I'll take it. Oh, well, I guess he really doesn't like the doodads we find on the farm. Oh, well, so goes life. Hey, Emilio, I did bring you a fish, although don't, don't give me any puns. Yeah. Yo. What's up, Emilio? You feeling worn out, Belle? Well, hey, a walk on the beach will surely give you some energy. <laughs> we should go together sometime. Emilio, I like you, but those puns are just a little punny. No pun intended. Okay, now I'm even getting in on it. Hey, Mikey, what's up? <laughs> I'll do my homework later tonight. The day is for play. And hello, Iori. Ah. Master Negan and I refer to each other as fishing buddies, though I could not possibly hope to mimic the way he becomes one with nature as he fishes. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever become one with nature while fishing. Hey, uh -huh. what's up, Marcos? Hola, Belle. Como estas? You hanging in there? I, I really am. I'm feeling pretty darn good. Let's go say hi to Beth. Beth, I'm sorry, but Ralph is ours. Um, I still have some shopping to get done. I hope I can get everything taken care of before it gets dark. I'm sure you will. And Gloria, I haven't talked to Hello. you in a few days. Hello, Belle. Has your work calmed down enough for a brief respite? It kind of. It never really stops. Honestly, I wish I could sleep the day away and party all night long. Well, party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. Oh! All right, Rena. I am here to get some stuff appraised. I have a heavy object, and that heavy object is a jewelry ring. Oh! I have a time-worn object, and that time-worn object is... Lumber. Oh! Yeah. I guess it's some really old logs. All right, what about this heavy object? Maybe it's something the museum would like? It is a Gibeon oh. stone. I think we've already given one of those, but we'll check with Gloria. All right, another time-worn, probably more lumber or something. Cloth. Oh. Well, that's always handy. All right, another heavy... 
We probably should go down to the mines, another Gideon stone, oh. and see about getting some more coal so that we can make some refined coal and get our pumps going again. Ambergris. Oh. Which is, um, if you didn't know, ambergris is actually whale puke. It's, it's really, really such a disgusting idea, but evidently it makes the best perfume in the world. From what I understand, it does not oh. smell good in its raw form, but I feel like there's so many things like that. Like, did you know that the vanilla that they oh. make vanilla ice cream out of, or they used to, was, um, it, it was some stuff out of a beaver's scent glands. Oh. This is why I try not to learn too much uh, oh. about food and stuff. Because sometimes the stuff that you learn is just going to utterly gross you out. And that oh. was definitely one. Although, you know, the really, really good vanilla ice creams are made with actual vanilla. But... Oh. That was it. Oh, I did not mean to quit that. Hey there, I would oh. like this last thing appraised. But yeah, don't don't research too deeply into too many topics, or you are going to be very disappointed in what you find. Hello. Or maybe do. You know? Oh, well, look at that. We have not donated whale puke. So... Let's donate a lump of whale puke. Where should we put our whale puke? I think it definitely goes over here with these other, like, rocky looking things. There we go. Yep, I would like it right there. Thank you. Alright, well, let's go see if our boyfriend's around. Thank you, Gloria. And Beth, have a wonderful day. Alright, let's see. Ralph! What is up, my Hello. dude? Recently? Whenever I'm unsure of myself, I think, what would Belle do? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Wild animals have much shorter lives than us, but they make the most of what they're given. We humans could learn a lot from them. Would you like some soup, my darling? Here you go. Oh, oh thank you. This is great. You have good taste. I do. Hello. When the going gets rough at work, I always imagine you smiling and encouraging me. I get a lot of motivation from that. Aww. That is just the sweetest thing ever. This having a boyfriend thing is kind of cool. Definitely dig it. Alright, though. Back to, back to the grind. We need to make money. We need to make cloth. And we need to uh, maybe get some more coal. So I will get you guys back and hit record if anything exciting happens oh my goodness it looks like chocolate's baby moose is having their baby and i think i have the perfect name we're we're sticking with the chocolate theme we are sticking with the theme of food and i do believe that in our line of descent we have chocolate then we had moose, and now we're going to have pudding. And not pudding, we're having pudding. So, welcome to the farm, pudding! Oh my goodness! Pudding is adorable. Also, it I'm pretty sure that... Oh, we're having a chicken too! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Alright, I think this is... Uh, cutlet and we've had fried and we have had drumstick so this is going to be a chicken tendy obviously welcome to the farm chicken tendy ah we love you so we've had two babies which means we have to get our next generation going yet again oh my gosh so cute. I am so in love with all these babies. All right, I'm going to see if I can speed run through a couple of days and get us up to maybe the, the uh, festival that's coming up. 
so if anything exciting happens, I will definitely hit record. So we've had a couple of days. Not a lot has gone on, but I figured we should take Belle fishing because she hasn't been fishing in a while and I feel like there's a fishing contest coming up soon. And I would like to win it this time. So we're gonna practice our fishing. Speaking of fishing, I actually was looking out my window this afternoon and I feel like I saw this this person out on the lake when I was out kayaking the other day and I registered the boat they were on but I didn't register it closely and they have what I think could be the absolute coolest boat I've ever seen on this lake not because it's fast and not because it's probably expensive or anything like that but because it's like just my kind of boat so interesting thing about me i'm not a big motorboat person i just don't like them they smell bad they they make noise they scare all the animals so it's just not like my type of, of thing I have nothing against it, just like snowmobiles. It's just not my thing. But these people were out. Oh, that was a mahi-mahi. Very nice. I don't think we've donated that. Um, they were out on a pontoon boat that I don't know if they bought it from somewhere or if they built it themselves. But they had a pontoon boat that was also a pedal boat. You know those those boats that you can rent and you can like um, you can rent them and just use your leg power to get around and all that. Well, that was what they had, but it was also a pontoon boat, and I think it was possibly the coolest thing I think I've seen in my life. So I have to remember the next time that I see them out on their boat, I need to ask them if they bought it somewhere or if they made it. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen a pontoon boat that's like that, that's a pedal power one. Also, it only seems to seat two people. Like it was, it was the cutest thing I've seen in my life and I've never actually seen anything like it. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Also, I think we are definitely going to be going to the museum tomorrow. Um, we've got to see if we've already donated a Mahi Mahi. I don't know if we have, but I'm kind of excited at the thought of possibly being able to donate something new. So that is our plans. We're going to go to town tomorrow. We are closer to all of the festivals, which is always a good thing. And that's probably about where we're going to end after we go to town, visit our boyfriend, and all of those other good things. So I will see you tomorrow. All right. We are having our, our last day for this week with Belle. We've got to visit Rascal. Now, in my off-camera time, I did go ahead and... Uh, let all right, I can't give Rascal a treat because it's being silly. I did go ahead and do a couple little things. Oh, good, it's raining. I got a new chicken incubating. It is going to be, I do believe, a regular chicken. It's going to be little Fried's baby. So that'll be good. I also got our original Dolly Barton pregnant. Um, we're going to retire her after she has her baby. And I also got Lilith pregnant. So we had Baal and then we had Lilith. So we, we need to think of a good name for a baby goat. Um, I'm thinking Dolly Barton's baby is probably going to be Jolene just because it goes with the whole Dolly Parton thing but I am going to need a name for uh, Lilith's baby and I'm going to need a name for our new chicken and of course a name for um, brain damage 
Yeah, Lilith and the chicken. Okay, yeah. Because, of course, we're going to name our Dolly Barton's child is going to be Jolene because it's just fitting. All right. Good morning, Portabella. You are looking splendid. Thank you for the wool. So, real quick question. Have any of you ever actually seen wool when it's freshly sheared off a sheep? It is the dirtiest stuff you've ever seen. But evidently, if you comb through fresh wool and clean it, your hands get amazingly soft. Like, the lanolin in wool is just a completely amazing thing. I've always wanted to give that a try, but the most I've ever actually done is touch raw wool. Interesting fun fact. There is a place in Lower Michigan that is probably the coolest place that I have ever been in my life, and I miss it all the time. When I was a teenager, I used to go just constantly, and it was um, Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village. And if you're ever in Michigan, down around the Detroit area, I highly recommend a visit if you like historical things. In the Greenfield Village, they have all sorts of stuff. Um, they have built whole buildings that were moved from their original locations. So they have the Wright Brothers home, they have Daniel Webster's house, and a lot of them aren't even reproductions. They're the actual houses, which is so cool. And yeah, they also have several working farms, and that is where I touched wool. Probably not too thrilling to some of you, but I thought it was really cool. Like, it, it was one of those things that just kind of solidified my love of history and other things like that. Alright, well, looking at it, it looks like, oh, we've got some seeds to plant, which is good, because I don't think we have any summer seeds in this bucket, but we do have some more stuff to turn into plants. So let's go ahead and make some of those, and then let's make some of those, and then we will put away, we'll put away one zucchini, so we can make seeds out of our zucchini and our corn and our melon. Very nice. And then we will reseed a little bit of stuff, because you always have to have stuff growing if you're a farmer. I think that's a requirement. So we're going to plant some pineapples and some eggplants. Pineapple, pineapple, eggplant, oh, we can also plant something there. And now we really need more seeds, but I'm trying to improve the quality of our seeds, so I'm trying not to just buy stuff from Angela. Because we do love Angela, but her seeds are not amazing. Oh, look at that. We've got some more stuff to harvest here. Very nice. We've got, ooh, level 10. Those are very good. And then we'll just make sure that we have everything cleared around our fields. Check on our summer trees. We need to go check on our other summer trees as well. Also, do you think that that is, um, Ralph's baby Teddy? I like to at least imagine that Teddy now lives on our farm with us. I mean, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he does. Maybe he just hangs out and he's like, I like it here. At least I like to think that. All right. What have we got to do here? We need to put some stuff in our box. Oh, and we need to check these trees because it looks like we have mangoes. Very cool. We have almonds. We've got some cocoa. We've got some... Oh, our bag is full. All right, let's drop some stuff 
off in the selling box. All right, what do we need to get rid of? That. We can get rid of that. Ooh, so much of this stuff I actually want to keep. All right, well, I'm going to do a little bit of organizing, and I will see you back here in a bit. All right, well, we're going to go to town on this rainy day. We are going to visit our boyfriend and all of our other friends. Go to the museum and see what is in this time-worn bag that I got down in the mines. And do all of those other good yeah. things. Hey, how's the farm coming? You already told yeah. me that, Damon. I don't hate afternoons, but I look forward to nighttime way more. That's when I get to take some time to myself and stargaze. You know, stargazing is very nice. It's just too bad you don't like cats. Huh. Thanks. Also, we have to see if any of these fish are new fish that need to be donated. But, like I said, first things first, we have to visit all of our friends. Jack, are you still eating your lunch? No, he's not. That's a good question. All right, maybe he's upstairs. Hey, Jack, you watching the TV that has nothing going? You know how trees only grow fruit in specific seasons? If you know which fruits to grow when, you can probably plan ahead, right? What? I think you've been hanging out with Emilio too much, Jack. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You guys have a nice little bromance going. But you, you're picking up on the puns. They're kind of terrible. Speaking of Emilio, after we check no Iori on the beach, so let's go see if Emilio is home. Hey Emilio, what's happening, my friend? Yeah. Papa is a true fisherman, he yeah. says. When I play guitar, Mama always starts dancing. She says whenever she hears a good tune, she's just got to move her feet. That's very yeah. sweet. All right. You know, Emilio seems to be doing just fine. I don't think he misses out on the fact that we didn't get together. I think he's, he's okay with it. All right, let's go by the museum and check in and see what's in this bag that we bonked from oh. a, a mole down in the mines. Oh, Rena, oh. I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Yes, I would like to see what is in this bag, please. It is silver ore. Hello. All right, Gloria. Oh. Gloria, I would like to donate. Hello fish. Actually, well, who'd have thought? I did not realize that the mussels were something that we needed to donate. So we've already donated everything except for this one little mussel. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's put the mussel in. Very nice. And that is all I have for you. Alright, guys. Don't mind me. I just need to go and visit my boyfriend, Ralph. My boyfriend's back in the gun. Oh! Oh my. Oh, it's Nigel. Hey, Ralph. I got some big news from your alma mater. Really? What kind of news would bring you all the way out here? They say the football team is lacking a coach, so they can't even have proper practice meets. What? They're in a real big rush to find a new coach, and it sounds like they're looking for a graduate if they can get one. That's why they sent a letter to my place. Why do you, though? You're not a graduate. Do you still not get it, son? They're asking you to be a coach. <gasps> Me? Bell. What do you think, Belle? Ralph's been asked to coach a prestigious football team. Mm, that might make me sad. This sort of opportunity only knocks once in a lifetime. True. I may never get another chance like this. Then you'll do it? 
there's nothing to think about. If you make a name for yourself as a coach, you could work your way up to be a manager and... That's enough, Father. Everything you worked so hard for is finally paying off. You're not going to let you pass this by, are you? Don't you want to go back to football? Sure I do. I'd like to give it a try. But listen, I've already found something much better than that. And that's my job as a ranger. I know it was rough at first, because I wasn't used to it. But that's long behind me now. I finally realize this is the job I wanted all along. I want to spend my life here, in the forest, surrounded by trees and animals, growing old with them. And it was Belle who helped me figure that out. Yeah, you've grown, Ralph. I'm this town's ranger. There's nothing else that I would rather do. Ha! Well, look at you, beaming away. If that's what your heart's telling you, I'll go ahead and turn them down for ya. Like I was saying, I don't think that I could have come to this conclusion without you, so thank you, Belle, for everything. Oh, wow. Do you think he turned down the job just because of us? I mean, I hope not. Because I would hate to think that my future spouse turned down his dreams just for me. I feel like that could lead to resentment. Speaking of my future spouse, where is he hiding? Ralph. Ralph, I have your soup. I mean, I know that you love this soup. Are you, at, are you at your dad's turning things down? Hey, Ralph. <laughs> no one can hold a candle to you when it comes to draining ponds. I doubt I could match your skill. I mean, I'm sure you could. Huh. You're, you're strong. Hello. Looks like you got your hands full again today. If there's anything that I can do for you, just say the word. I've got your back. Oh, you're the best, sweetie. Hey, future father-in-law. What's Hello. going on? Maybe it's time for some tea. You know, it could be. I should suck up to my future father-in-law. Mm. Thanks. Appreciate it. You know, you gotta stick in on the good side of your future in-laws. Alright, well, it looks like we need to offload a bunch of of stuff that I didn't think we had already given to the museum. Hmm. Alright, well let's drop off these sea bass. And probably all of these guys. We'll drop that off. We're gonna keep all these soups for our boyfriend. And maybe we'll keep a couple of these other pieces of seafood because they're always good for something. Alright, so gather everything up here. Put away some of this stuff, and I think that is where we are going to leave it. Now, looking at the calendar, it looks like probably next episode we will be going to the Summer Jamboree, or at least getting ready for it, so that's not too bad. And we cannot forget that our boyfriend's birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to do some internet research and find out what his absolute favorite gift is. And we will be sure to get it crafted and make sure that it is there for him on his birthday. Other than that, like I said, um, I have a name for Dolly Barton's baby. But we are going to need a name for uh, White Chicken. And we're going to need a name for Lilith's new baby when we have it next week. But until then, from me and Belle and everybody on the farm, you guys have an awesome, awesome weekend. <laughs>